Then coming to the next process is sedimentation decantation. Okay, we have next process is sedimentation and decantation. So, what is sedimentation? Sedimentation is the process, okay? Sedimentation is the process of allowing the insoluble solid, okay? This is the key word here. The insoluble solid in a suspension to settle down at the bottom. So, suppose you have an insoluble solid in a liquid. For example, you have mud and water or muddy water. Okay, you allow this muddy water to stand for some time. After it is allowed to stand for some time in a container, what do you observe children? We observe that the sand particles will slowly settle down at the bottom of the container and the liquid which is nearly clear, okay, is on the top. This particle, this uh, solid which settles down at the bottom of the container is known as the sediment okay it is known as the sediment and the upper clear liquid is known as the supernatant liquid okay this is known as the supernatant liquid so sedimentation is the process of allowing the insoluble solid of a suspension to settle down without disturbing okay settle down at the bottom of the container without disturbing now after sedimentation okay the two components that is the liquid and the solid of the mixture i have separated they have separated but they are not totally separated they're just uh, staying apart from each other in two layers so we have to now go to the next process that is decantation Okay, decantation because now we have to remove the upper supernatant liquid from the solid which has settled down. So, the process of pouring out the upper supernatant liquid into another container without disturbing the sediment is known as decantation. So, sedimentation and decantation though are two different processes, they have to go hand in hand in order to complete the separation of a solid liquid mixture where the solid is insoluble in the liquid. Is that clear? The next technique we have in separation is filtration. Okay. So, filtration is defined as the process of separation of an insoluble solid from the suspension by passing through a porous medium okay so filtration is yet another technique children which is used to separate the insoluble solid from the liquid component okay now this we have come across we see filtration every day in our life okay you must have seen your mother after the tea is made she passes the tea through the strainer that is a tea strainer right so that tea strainer is nothing but a filter okay so which is going to separate the tea leaves from the brewed tea okay and we also can like suppose you have juice which is pulpier and you don't like pulpiness in the juice so if you want to remove the pulp from the juice you pass it through a strain right you pass it through a strain so that the juice the pulp remains on the strainer and the clear juice comes out so this is nothing but filtration children and even you must have come across when the water is, is slightly muddy so what they do they take a muslin cloth 
they tie it over the pot and they pour this muddy water so that you get clear water and any fine particles of mud or any dust or tiny leaves or something which are present in the water will be retained on the muslin cloth so this is the process of filtration so filtration is nothing but it is a process of separation of an insoluble solid from a liquid by passing it through a porous medium. This porous medium through which the suspension is passed through is called the filter. Now in the laboratory we carry out filtration using the apparatus. So what is the apparatus required for filtration? We require a funnel. Okay, this is a funnel children. Okay, we require a funnel and we require a filter paper. Okay, this is the filter paper. Now, this filter paper we get in the laboratory of different pore size. So, the filter paper is normally circular like this children. Okay, it is normally circular and this filter paper we first fold it along its diameter to make it into a semicircle and then we refold it along this semicircle is again refolded along this way okay to make a cone okay to make a cone and this cone is inserted inside the funnel okay this is inserted inside the funnel when you're inserting this filter paper into the funnel we must be careful that there are no air spaces or no spaces left between the filter paper and the funnel and this filter paper should be fitting properly into the funnel okay and then we fill the we take this funnel and uh, I mean fix it onto a stand and we take a beaker okay we take a beaker and place it below the funnel okay below the funnel and then we take a mixture the mixture could be like you know in the laboratory children usually we use filtration to separate uh, any precipitates from a solution so what is a precipitate children basically what happens is during a chemical reaction insoluble solids can be formed these insoluble solids which are formed during a course of a chemical reaction are called precipitates so we need to separate for example if you add say to copper sulfate if you add sodium hydroxide you get copper hydroxide which is a precipitate so if you have to separate this precipitate we have to pass this through the filter okay so we take this filter paper fix it onto the funnel and then we we pass the uh, suspension so this is the beaker okay this will be your beaker okay containing the suspension or the mixture okay containing the suspension or the mixture now when it passes okay the solid particles this particle size of the solid is large enough so it cannot pass through the pores of the filter paper whereas the liquid will seep through the filter paper and will be collected as clear liquid in the beaker okay now this clear liquid okay this clear liquid which is collected down here is known as the filtrate okay it is known as the filtrate okay and the solid particles okay the solid particles which are retained okay the solid particles which are retained here on the filter paper okay that solid particle which is retained on the filter paper is known as the residue okay so if you have a mixture say if your mixture is of sawdust and water okay if your mixture is a mixture of sawdust and water when you pass this mixture of sawdust and water through the filter paper okay the sawdust is retained on the filter paper as the residue okay it is retained as the residue and the water clear water is collected in the beaker as the filtrate okay so this is the process of filtration is that clear then and again i'm repeating children filtration is used as a technique only when the solid is insoluble in the liquid so right now we have discussed two techniques wherein we can separate an insoluble solid from a liquid one is sedimentation decantation and the second one is filtration okay